So a few of you have been asking this question about how you take out a big tumor through a tiny incision. Now, the way a tumor comes out is gonna be highly dependent on a couple of factors. So first and foremost, the consistency, meaning how soft versus how firm the tumor is, plays a huge role in this. Second, the location and what surrounding structures you need to be concerned about also can determine the type of approach you use. So tumors are generally going to come out either on block, meaning the entire tumor comes out in one piece, or in a piecemeal fashion where you break it down bit by bit and take out smaller pieces a bit at a time. So for something like an eyebrow incision with a really large tumor, piecemeal fashion is going to be the best way to do this because the tumor is bigger than the opening. So the way I do that is once the tumor is exposed and I can see the outer surface of it, I open up the outer part or the capsule of the tumor. I get inside the tumor and then I internally debulk it, meaning I'm removing the contents from inside the tumor, staying inside the capsule which the tumor creates around itself. I can use my guidance to help me navigate it as well as my anatomic markers. Once I'm able to debulk it internally I can literally just fold the tumor down in on itself it's kind of like deflating a balloon and you're just folding the edges in and taking that out bit by bit rolling it up peeling it off of the underlying anatomy bit by bit in order to free it up from the surrounding structures for smaller tumors that are not adherent to blood vessels or nerves where it might be safer to do so you can sort of dissect around that tumor and get it freed up from all the surrounding brain tissue and then try to pull it out in one piece Again, usually that's for smaller things or something where you're not worried about retracting on the brain or any of the nerves. So hope that answers your question, but ultimately the answer is it depends.